Abby, is my audio on yet? Am I, like, make sure, like, what's going out right now? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of the 29th Annual Soccer ISD Livestock Show. We're going to start the morning with our national anthem, sung by Cheryl and Santi Banez from Cypress Falls High School, and signed by Gabrielle and Harrison from Cypress Ridge. It's good. Please stand with me and remove your headgear, please.
our judge, Mr. Micah Osborne. Micah has a bachelor's degree in poultry science from the Texas A&M University, Ms. Rick. There we go. He currently lives in Texas, Texas A&M University Management Poultry Research Center and is working on his master's degree in poultry nutrition. Micah was also given a 2013 national champion poultry judging team and was the high point individual for the 2016 national team. He is also judged all the county shows across the state, as well as major livestock shows, Jeff Houston livestock show, San Antonio livestock show, and the Texas State Fair. Please welcome our judge, Mr. Michael Osborne. Thank you. 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 Thank Start another line back here, or just with them that third line. <laughs> that back line. It's all good. <laughs> Up front, please. Slide your hands up. All the way up here. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
there. Front line. Good morning, chicken fans. Good morning, welcome to the Side Bear Friday morning show. Uh, we got some VIPs in the ring. Uh, Miss Show Team from Siren, Corinne Fontaine. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. And our top hand from Side Bear High School, Garrett Lawson. <laughs> Over here, over here, over here. Where's the lady in charge? <laughs> I can't find her. Where's the one in charge who told me how many I need to place? 32. 32. I do need to place them. Do I need to place them all? Place all 32? Yes, sir. No, we need to, we need to stop. I just need 13, right? I don't need to do all 32. Wonderful. All right, guys, let's go. Y'all get y'all's up for me. Put them upside down. If y'all could just go straight into the wall. Straight into the wall. Hey, buddy. Just come right here. We'll go right there. <laughs> count how many I have on that front line. The very front. Oh, the very front? Okay. Yeah, count how many I got. Just walk over there, it's easier. Make sure you get a definite count. Go up here. Just walk over there and make, make sure. Check one more time. 
Not yet. You'll come up here. Right here. You want to go down there? I'll hop up here. Okay. Let's go one more time. Really like this one bird. It's super massive, has a ton of meat. These other two just don't have the same amount of meat as the rest of the stuff that's up here. If we had two more like this, we'd be all right, because these other two don't have it. You're gonna have to ask you to step back with those birds over there. Really like this bird in the middle. It's wide and it carries a whole lot of meat. So these other two, they just don't carry enough compared to what's up here, okay? So you go ahead and step back. Go scoot down. Like this bird in the middle, it's wide at the base. It just doesn't carry enough up towards the top of the kill. And just need more meat out of these two. Okay, okay. go back over there. Y'all just go to that end of this line, okay? Eight, you said? Eight, sir. We need 13. Y'all take a step forward. Like that. Step forward with them. Keep them behind this line. All right, cradle them real quick. No, no, y'all stay over there. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. I really like this bird. It's super wide and it's carrying a ton of meat. These other two are carrying a lot of meat. They just don't have it at the base. Okay. compared to what we have up here and what I know I have further down the line. Okay. Is it time to take a couple steps back for me? We would like to thank our buckle sponsors. The Grand Champion Buckle was sponsored by Cypress Fires Association. Our reserve champion buckle Really like this bird. Whose birds are they? Yours? Really like this bird right here. It has a ton of meat at the base and it's carrying a ton of meat. 
These other two just don't have enough to compete with what I know I have up here in these two lines. So we just need a little bit more, okay? So right now, if you'll just take a step back right next to her, that'd be great. And our other awards are Market Oiler third place ribbon was sponsored by Cypress Ridge SSA Booster Club. They're good birds. They just don't have the amount of meat that a lot of these pins have. So we just need a little bit more meat each one of the birds, okay? Take a step back right next to them. Hey, y'all. Y'all come right here and just go straight into that wall right there. Right here with me, but straight into the wall. Right here. Really like this bird right here has a ton of meat at the base and it's carrying a ton. So these other two just don't have enough meat in them to compete with what I have up here and what I have right here. So this time, will you step back over there with that one? Overall, it's a good pin of birds. Just get out mass. There's a ton of birds up here that are just huge. And we got one pretty decent one right here. It's these other two just don't have the same amount of meat. Okay, so step back over there with them. Really like this bird right here as far as its mass at the base and the way it carries. I'd like to maybe see it carry a little bit more for how wide it is at the base, but it's these other two that just don't have the width at that base. So I'd like to see a little bit more out of these two. Okay, so if you'll go stand in line with them over there. straight. Who's Morgan? Y'all come down here. Y'all come stand up here next to this line. Really like this bird right here, as far as how much mass it has, how much it's carrying. Y'all go stand next to them. We just don't have enough mass in these other two birds compared to what we have up in this line and what we have right here. So at this time, will you go stand next to that line over there? Uh, with the front or the back one? The back one. Really like this bird in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's super wide and it's carrying a ton of meat. We just don't have the same amount of meat in these other two birds like we do up here in these in these two lines. Yeah. So just need a little bit more out of them. So right now, if you'll just go stand next to those guys right there in this back line. Yeah. Yeah. Just roll your hands up. There you go. Really like this bird in the middle. It's super wide and it's carrying a ton of meat. Where we start to see a difference is, notice what that one is? It's a pullet. Notice that, that one's a pullet and this one's a cockerel. So they're just never gonna have the same amount of meat. This one has a ton of meat for being a pullet, but it, you're competing against all these other pins that have three cockerels in them. So it just gets really difficult just because they're never gonna get to the same size that these are. And with being a straight run show, we're just looking for as much meat as we can. So really like this one, but I need a little bit more out of these two, okay? So just go right back here. How many is that? I think it's right at about five. Is it five or six? It is six? Can I, can I feel these real quick? 
And can I just get these three right? by popular demand. We got a joke for you. What's a chicken's least favorite day? Do you want us to keep holding them? Friday. <laughs> Can y'all switch? Y'all switch. Do you want these? Y'all cradle him. Can y'all switch? Oh. You too. Dang, I tried to get there. All right, y'all hop up there. <clears throat> Count them one more time just to make sure. Yeah, you got a microphone? Yeah, Mike, and uh, you're finishing that now? Yep. All right, hey, y'all follow him. He's gonna tell you which ones are which, and y'all start writing. Well, we're not done. Oh, you're letting some go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's say we hadn't even felt the front line. Oh, you, got, you got 15. Yeah, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Let's give all these students a round of applause for all their hard work. So it just hats off to all these students. We have some absolutely massive birds in here this morning. Uh, whenever I got here, the, the two sifters, they talked to me and told me that they were 56 days old, and it just kind of blew my mind because, you know, 56 days, that's a big bird, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication uh, to get them to this show day just because, especially this time of year when you have weather changes, we go from 40 degrees to 30 degrees back up to 70 and 80, and so it's really difficult to keep these birds uh, going and eating and, and just thriving in that kind of an environment. So it's just really hats off to all these students for what they've done. Uh, you know, we have 32 pins in here right now, and what we did is uh, as they came in through the, through the gate, I kind of hit them and split them up into three different lines just to kind of give myself uh, the ability to just have a starting point. You know, we still have a couple couple lines left to go through, but what I wanted to do in order to give us a little bit more elbow room in the arena was uh, go ahead, we're gonna release these these two lines back to the pin. What we see with these birds is they maybe have one really big bird that, that is super massive and wide at the base of the breast and carries it up, but those other two birds just, just don't quite have enough meat. So we just like to see a little bit more mass um, in, in the pin as a whole. They're still really good birds. We just have some really massive ones up in these next two lines. So let's give all these students a round of applause as they go ahead and exit back to their cages. Your battery light's pretty low. Don't know if y'all have replacement batteries. It just says it's low. No. Okay. Just kind of center them up. Okay. Both lines. Y'all go ahead and pick them up, and y'all kind of come towards me. Right here. All right. Let's go. Like a round number, like 15. Yeah. Even though it's not round, it's but. It's, it's, it's a good number. Yeah. <laughs> 14 just doesn't work for me, you know. <laughs> I 
Hey, when I can I borrow that real quick? <coughs> you can just keep it. We don't need it. For those of y'all that are still in the arena, these birds are super massive, and so to be courteous to them, if I walk by you, like flip those up right now, cradle them. If I'm not at your pen of birds working on them, keep them cradled. I don't mind if it takes a little extra second for y'all to flip them upside down, but as soon as I move to the next pen, go ahead and cradle them. That way we try to be a little bit easier on the birds. Okay, thank you. Just keep it. All right, I need these. Okay, boys. Just this one, just this one. All right, boys. He's dying, just cradling. Y'all switch. Yeah. Probably you need to watch saying that on them. Yep. All right, cradle him. It's fine. Just switch. Get him up for me. Y'all hop up there. Y'all hop up there. Y'all can set him down.
Hey, cradle it, bud. It's like a dinner plate. I know. <laughs> Remember, cradle him after I'm done with you. All right. Slide your hands up. No. It's not a turkey. Just, no, no, no. Stop. Rest your, there you go. Just hold him straight. There you go. Just hold him straight. It's not gonna change the way they feel. It just makes it harder for me to get a good feel on them if you're holding them the way that you were. You know what I mean? Because there's not a lot of room to work with. All right, y'all come on. Scoot down, boys. Relax them wrists, man. <laughs> what I also like to say is imagine if I had you upside down and was just doing that to your legs, you know? I probably wouldn't be comfortable with it. No, probably not. All right. Y'all switch. All right, cradle him. Scoot down, scoot down, right here boys, y'all are good. Scoot down, y'all scoot down. Get y'all's up. Rest them. Get him up. <laughs> Try 
try not to flip them up as much. Try to remember where they should potentially go and then just be able to just be able to go down it. Right. Right there. Can I cut through? Excuse me. Yep. Really like these two. It's this one that just really doesn't have enough for me. Okay. okay. They're also getting a little soft. That's because they're stressed. Yes. They're 56 days old. <laughs> of course they're stressed. So, not much we can do about that. Okay. Really like these two birds. This one especially is super wide. <clears throat> this one maybe doesn't have the same amount of width as this one. And then this one just really falls off. Just really need more out of this third one. Okay. Really like the width at the base of this one, super wide. I'd like to see it maybe carry a little bit more up top. This one again is super wide at the base and it carries pretty decent. But it's this one who maybe, both of these, they really start to break yes, and, and not carry enough meat up towards the top of the kill. So I'd like to see them have a little bit more, okay? Yes, this bird is one of the biggest in the show super wide and it carries a ton of meat but it's these other two they've kind of this one has the width at the base it's just not carrying it up towards the top of the kill and then this one it has width you can feel it mm -hmm. but it's gone a little soft so it got a little stressed it's 56 days old you keeping stress off of them is almost impossible so just the, by it going soft it maybe just doesn't feel as big as it probably did whenever it was still hard okay, okay. still a good set of birds Can y'all hop up there? Y'all switch. Switch. One more time. They're big birds. But we just get beat here. They're carrying really well, all three of them are. They just don't have the meat at the base, like what these do up here. And to me, the most meat is down at the base because that's where most of that breast meat is gonna be. And so when you get beat by 
you know, an inch on each bird, it really starts to add up over the course of the, the pin. Still a really great set of birds, okay? Thank you. You'll go ahead and step back to that line. <clears throat> three of them have the width at the base. They're just not carrying the same amount of width up towards the top of the keel. So like this one right here, you just see that it just tapers so hard right there. Same thing right here, this one tapers hard. This one has the best carry out of the three and it still tapers pretty hard. So you just need more meat up top, okay? All right, really good birds. These two especially, so they're super wide at the base of that breast. And that's what, you know, we were over there, that's what brought you up to here was how much meat they have right here. Mm -hmm. And what carried you over this pin is that you have a little bit more meat up towards the top of the mm -hmm. keel bone compared to his two birds. Where you get beat right here mm -hmm. is they have even more meat up towards yeah. the top. So we still see the same width. Plus your third bird right here, mm -hmm. just gets a little bit soft, mm -hmm. isn't carrying the same amount of meat. So just need a little bit more out of this one. Still okay. a really good set. Thank you. Really good set of birds. Where we get beat here is they have a little bit more meat at the base of that breast. Your birds are carrying really well. They have a ton of meat up towards the top. I just like to see them have a little bit more meat at the base. Okay, really good set of birds. Y'all cradle them. Feather went right in the like, side of my eye. <laughs> Cradle him. Really like the width of this one at the base and it carries really well. Mm -hmm. This bird is carrying pretty good and so is this one. I just need more meat at the base, okay? Sure. That's what we're seeing as we get further up is, oh, they got a little bit more hair, they got a little bit more hair. So we're just playing that game all the way up. But I'd like to see yours have a little bit more down here, okay? okay? All right, boys. <laughs> really like these two birds. Just, this third bird just really falls off. It runs real flat and it's a little soft. So we got stressed at some point in time. It's 56 days old. The fact that it's stressed out doesn't surprise me. Just like to see it have a little bit more width at the base. Okay.
Still a really good set. Just need a little bit more out of them. Okay. One more time. really like these two birds as far as their width at the base and how much they're carrying up towards the top. This one right here just doesn't have as much at the at the base. It's kind of lopsided, so it's a little bit bigger on this side than it is on this side. Mm -hmm. So it just doesn't have the same width as these that are up here. Still really good set. You just get narrowly beat out, okay? Right. really like this bird, and I really like this bird. This bird right here, man, it's funky. It just, its breast meat isn't very deep. Yeah. So like these, they just keep going back. This yeah. one like ends right here and it's, it's weird. And so it just doesn't have the same width as the rest of these. These two are massive. I just get, it's this third one, just need a little bit more out of them. Okay. Yep. One more time. This is a difficult decision. You gotta be thorough. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Can y'all come stand right here, please? Thanks. <laughs> Just right here. Turn. Yep, right here. Right close. All right, get him up.
thought it was going to be easy? <laughs> no, I'll get in a workout. Hey, I'll go right there. Let's give all these students a round of applause for all their hard work. Just hats off to each one of these students. Uh, the, the quality of bird that we have in the arena right now is just absolutely tremendous. And I think that's hats off to the students, but also hats off to the parents and the ag teachers and everybody who's involved. Maybe grandma, grandpa come over and check the birds in the middle of the day. And, you know, raising poultry, they say, oh, do it. It's six, seven weeks. And it's a really easy to do. And anybody who tells you that probably has never raised poultry before because it's probably the hardest six weeks that you could put in as far as any of the projects that you have in the back of the back of the barn. Just the amount of time and effort that gets packed into those six weeks for what you have to do to get them here. You know, I'm sitting here and as I was about right here in the line, I started thinking, man, if they got these things before Christmas, they've been through a winter storm when we were down in the teens and then it got back up to 70 and 80 degrees and then this week it's back down to the 30s and uh, that just doesn't make it easy. If you're raising them in your garage and don't have ventilation and all these other problems, it, it gets really difficult whenever we talk about, oh, they gotta be cool and oh, but now they gotta be warm and oh, they gotta be cool again. Raising the city of Houston is, is not easy at all uh, with humidity changes and just everything. So again, it, it's hats off to all the students for all the hard work that they've done. Um, you know, I talked about whenever we had the other birds out here, what we saw with the ones that we released is we had one really big bird and those other two just didn't quite fit the, fit the, fit the mold that we were looking for. And I think what you see is this back line back here, we have two really good birds and that third one just isn't quite there. We talked to a couple of them. Uh, some of the birds have gone soft. What happens when they go soft is they get stressed out. They're 56 days old. If they're not getting stressed out by now, you know, we're doing something wrong. So it's, it's a really fine line that you have to walk, you know, whether or not they're getting stressed and all this other stuff and paying attention, well, how am I getting them here and making sure that their environment doesn't change. And that's difficult. If you live an hour away from here, down back country roads, it's really hard to, to get them here in one piece. So again, it, it just shows how difficult it is to get here. Uh, we, whenever we started going through this front line, I, I like to have the line facing the crowd because if you watch me as I go down, if I'm doing it right, my hands keep getting wider and wider apart as long as, as I keep working my way down. And, you know, whenever we get up to these top pins and how big these birds are, it's like, look, just pick them up. And then whenever I get by you, tuck them because they're really hot. They're really tired. We're trying to go as quickly as we can. Uh, when we got down to these top two, it gets really difficult. So if I could, just real quick, uh, let's get them up real quick. And I just want to talk about them. Let's get the top. Let's get these three. Let's get these three up right here. We'll do them one at a time. We'll do them one. So we look at this pin right here. So again, if you stood back here on the fence and you just looked at them, you could just see how much mass they have. Whenever I get my hands on here, I like to say, <laughs> breast so big that you got to use two hands. And I have tiny hands, so that doesn't go very far. But whenever I'm right here and I look at them, I got to use two hands to get my hand all the way around that. And what we see with this pin is we got two really massive birds right here. And then this bird, that breast meat isn't as deep. It doesn't go as far back. And so my hand doesn't have to go far back. And so it gets a little bit shorter. It just isn't carrying the same amount of meat. Now these two pins, I mean, I worked them over pretty hard, but that's because they're, they're pretty close. And depending on the judge may depend on how they place them, but let's get them both up and we'll talk about them both. When we look at these pins and we just compare them, I mean, you can just look at them and see how much meat they have. I mean, every single bird is just super massive. They're wide at the base of the breast. They're carrying that meat all the way up to the top of the keel. This bird right here is just absolutely phenomenal. That is the biggest bird we have in this show. Just as far as the amount of meat it has at the base and the way it's carrying it, I say it looks like a turtle shell because there's no start or, big, or end, you know, it just keeps going around. It's, I, told, I told Nick as we were working our way down, it's the size of a dinner plate because it truly is. And just we can just see how massive these birds are. As we started going through them, you know, I would compare bird to bird. So I'd compare this bird to this bird because they're similar. I'd compare this bird to this bird because they're similar. And so I'm getting, I'm getting measurements in my head because I got to look at how wide my fingers are apart here and then how wide they are apart here and do that for each bird. And you know, it, it's not a perfect science, but you basically are adding it up in your head, which pin overall has the most amount of meat. And whenever I started comparing them, y'all go and flip them back upside down. Whenever I started comparing them, I think there was one pin that, 
you know, it had two birds, whenever we were comparing pin to pin, there was two birds, and on, on the pin that's gonna win today, the, the birds were a little bit wider at the base and they carried a little bit more up towards the top of the kill. They maybe didn't have the biggest bird, but overall it was a more uniform pin, and I think it had the most amount of meat, so that is gonna be your champion down on the end. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hey, really great pen of birds. Thank you so it's much. It's really tough, really Thank tough. You. But just overall, congratulations. Thank great you. job. Thank yep. You. Good job, buddy. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Hey, good job. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank good you. job, young lady. Good job. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Great job. Good job. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Great job. Yes, ma'am. Great job. These first three. One, two, three. Nick, in order. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Great job. Good job. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Great job. Hey, good job, guys. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Great job. Thank you. Thanks for bearing with me. Hey, great job. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Hey, really great job. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Yep. You're welcome. Hey, again, really great pen of birds. It could have gone either way. It's just fantastic. Thank you so much. Are you graduating senior? I'm a sophomore. This is my so first you, show. So keep going because you're doing something right. Thank All right. Can we get a picture with you? Yeah. Here, I'll hold the buckle or something. can do this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Here, you want to hold that? Sure. Let me give these to mom. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, y'all are welcome. Yep, you're welcome. Good job, buddy. Great pen of birds. Nick does. Nick. Hey, good job, buddy. You got a different recorder. Yeah, they changed it out. I'll put it back on. I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna put it back on whenever we start turning. Uh, where's the restroom? Wait for them to leave. Five For your Corolla results, in 10th place, we have Anson Wachinski from Bridgeland. In 9th place, we have Addison Kelly from Bridgeland. In 8th place, Caden Carlson from Jersey Village. In 7th place, Charlie Miller from Jersey Village. In 6th place, Tyler Skelton from Bridgeland. In 5th place, we have Angelina Smith from Tigers Ranch. In fourth place, Austin Nichols from Bridgeland. In third place, Red Barlow from Bridgeland. Your reserve champion, Vincia Rodriguez from Cypress Ranch. And your great champion, Pinto Rose, Madison Tribal from Cypress Ranch.
first call for Turkey. Shabazin, first call for Turkey. First call, first call for Turkey Cooters. First call for Turkey Cooters. Like, if I said yes, they'd show me shit. What would you do? Yeah, what is it? He'd be like, he'd, he'd look at me and be like, you're doing it. I don't like it, personally. Okay. Just because, like, I, sh I showed steers, and I showed peppers, and I showed pigs, lambs, and goats. Dad, show me shit. Yeah. Really, what it is is, let's see how much knowledge you have about the dog. Which it's fine. And it gives maybe a kid that doesn't get grand a chance to get a buck. But personally, never I'm out. <laughs> Jacob Price over at Katie, he's a big proponent of it. And he likes doing it everywhere he goes, but I don't. <laughs> I'll do it. Yes. I'm gonna give this, can I give it to you now? Yeah. Well, that means I can leave, right? All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> but I no, no, no. remember now. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Else, Thank okay? you. Thank yes, ma'am. <laughs> I figured you'd get a laugh out of it. That's why I did it. Oh, this is awkward. The reserve champion is Kyle Atkins. The banner sponsor is Green Champion and Cypress Ace Hardware. We got them all. The champion is Everything and All LLC. The third place award for the turkeys is Cypress, Wood, Cypress Ridge FFA Booster Club. Fourth place is Cypress Ace Hardware. Teamwork. And the Makes the dream work. David and Ronnie Sadler. How are you doing today? I'm doing. Y'all switch for me. Lift them up for me. Okay, I'll switch. 
switch. We go to the end. Hey, you go to the end. Skip to y'all come down. Yep, right there. Switch. Y'all switch. Switch. You can't hold it by yourself? I'm sorry. You want me to show you how to do it? Sure. Hold it like this. Okay. Hold it close. Bring your elbows in, hold it close, and use your stomach. I bet you can do it by yourself. No, no, hold it up here. There you go. Bring it in close. Elbows close. See, look, you got it. Whose is it? Yours? Mine. You got it. Hold he, by yourself. He hurt his wrist. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I got it. He typically can do it. That sucks. Yeah. What'd you do? A week or two ago. I think I sprained it. Mm. Switch for me. Now you're like, dang it, I have to hold this thing. You're doing great. You're doing great. I only made you do it because I know you can. And if you hold them in like this, your arms don't get tired. All right, you can set them down. Will you keep yours up? I'm sorry. Switch. Do it one more time. Boom, look at that. See, you're a pro now. Who's Keegan? This is Keegan. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> You're good. Switch. One more time. Heel switch. One more time. Okay. Just need a little bit more meat at the base. You just get out maps because you're a hen against a bunch of toms. <clears throat> Both of y'all really. Y'all are just two hens that are competing against toms and that's it's hard to do. Really good hens. Yep, yeah, let's just get ready. We're gonna go just one more after the other. You can set it down. You can set it. Oh. Mm.
Hey, that's your job to step in there. What? So it's your job to step in there and take the take the take the hit. Close call. I got feathers in my eyes. Sorry. You mic'd up again? I am. Hasn't hit me in the balls yet. <laughs> you said it right here. It's right there, dude. Did I see that last year? Yeah. I did, didn't I? And I was like, oh no. Oh, in my eye. Yeah, that's the worst part. It's been saying that for a while. All right, let's give all these turkey exhibitors a round of applause. <laughs> so a lot of what we see here is clearly it's not going to take as much time to do the turkey show as it does to do the chicken show. We only got one bird to go through. Um, and, and what we see as we get down the line is, you know, we're just increasing the amount of meat that we have at the bottom of that breast and we're carrying it up towards the top of the keel. Uh, where we get down here, these two young ladies have have hens and, and the, everybody above them have toms. And it gets really difficult because the hens just probably won't ever have the same amount of meat on them as the toms are. Uh, but because it's a straight run show and we're not doing just toms versus just hens, we gotta you know, just go off of the amount of breast meat they have. And so they just kind of get overpowered. Uh, they're really good for what they are being hens. We just don't have as much meat as the ones ahead of them. Uh, when we start getting up here, we just start seeing a little bit of differences of, oh, this one's got a little bit more meat, a little bit more meat. And we just do that all the way up to the top. Uh, there's one bird that is just so much bigger than the others. You really only have to put your hands on it once. It's just an absolutely tremendous bird as far as the width of the base and how much it's carry. Uh, every one of them has done a really great job, but the young man on the end is going to be your champion today. Thank you so hey, much. Great job. Thank you. Are you all the same? Carson, Carson? Yes. Good job. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good job. Great job. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Great job. That's what threw me off. But she was corralling the bird. You're good. Thank you. Hope I didn't say anything too bad on that.